Hello and welcome to Tobacco Pipes and More. I'm Oki Ozark Piper and today we're going to finish off our final installment of pipe tobacco blends for summer. If this is your first time joining us, we hope to earn your subscription and thank you for being with us. This selection of mine uh, is a unique blend, this last one that I've picked. Um, and know that in all of the tobaccos that we've picked, these are not tobaccos we're only smoking through the summer. Uh, this is just a selection of tobaccos that we found interesting that we are smoking this summer. And we thought we would pass along to you, if you haven't tried them, to give them as suggestions of worthy of being tried. And now everybody has a different uh, taste. You know, everybody has a different likes and dislikes. So some of these may not be for you, but these are ones that we think are good or unique enough that they should be tried uh, if you haven't. There, some of these are classics like the one that I've chose for today, which is the Galwith and Hogarth Innerdale Flake. It's a uh, Lakeland tobacco and uh, Lakeland tobaccos are um, sometimes notorious uh, in a way, how people refer to them as being this, oh, it will stink up your pipe, it's terrible stuff. But uh, it's not, I actually don't agree with that. I don't think that they all stink up your pipe. They're not gonna ghost your pipe. A lot of people say that if you just smoke them once or twice or you know, a small amount, a couple ounces, uh, it may leave a little bit of a residue in your pipe, but it's nothing that won't go away after you smoked another, you know, three, four ounces of something else through there. So uh, if that's a big concern of yours, you might want to put it in a pipe that you don't use a lot, but it's an interesting uh, flavor, uh, Lakeland tobaccos. And we're actually going to do a video on the uh, Lakeland tobaccos soon and kind of give an idea of what they are and an explanations of uh, some of them and uh, give you some thoughts on them. But I would uh, recommend if you haven't looked at Innerdale Flake, check it out. Uh, again, it's a classic tobacco, uh, one that's been around for a long time and well worth your attention. Take care. And now the one we've been waiting for, the number one smoke for summer. Now, there's a lot of candidates out there and uh, you may choose something different and that's all right. But for me, my number one smoke for the summer is McConnell's Folded Flake. That doesn't sound like much, but uh, when you open this tin, um, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a it's a it's rectangle. It's a very nice and even. It's not really a flake, um, but it kind of looks like a like a ribbon that has been equally cut. Um, it's a great great presentation. Um, this has a uh, it's Virginia, but it's also got some Perique, and I think it's got a little bit of um, dark fired in there as well. Um, very nice, very tasty. Uh, this is an all day smoke, and it is a classic. Uh, so if you are interested in trying something new, um, Folded Flake might be the one for you. Uh, you can smoke this in winter too, but for summer it just shines. And uh, it's my number one pick for the summer.